Um, I'm very pleased to be here at the launch of the Eat This Eat G4 Longevity. Um, I just wanted to say that I think there are a couple of important issues that I would not like to go amiss in the work that the APPG does. And that is, firstly, it's to ensure that the issue of inclusion and diversity is very much at the core of the work that they do. Of course, there's not a monoculture in the UK, and activities, work, and direction, governance and direction of the APPG should also reflect the diversity and the cultural influences to inform its decision making and its strategy. The second thing is I would hope that they would not shy away from some of the taboo subjects that matter um, in terms of aging. We've heard today that there's an increased number of adults over 50 being getting divorced, although the divorce rates are going down. An uh, increasing number of adults over 50 are now embarking on divorcing and, and setting out on new lives. And there's the whole issue of sexuality and sexual health which is often seen as a taboo subject and a no-go area with respect to aging. I would like them to break the boundaries of convention and work with, in terms of the reality of the situation, reality of people's lives, as opposed just to enabling strategy and policy. Because in my experience, reality eats strategy for breakfast. So for impact, for change, and for a better future for all of us, it's important to address the taboo issues, the no-go issues, and diversity and inclusion.